to a short summary of percentages. This is aimed at the foundation GCSE tier. Okay, so basically, percentages are out of 100, so 57% would be 57 out of 100. 23%, 23 out of 100. 134% would be 134 out of 100. Now, important to note here that you can theoretically have percentages above 100 for certain situations. Obviously, you couldn't get greater than 100% in a test, but stocks and shares could rise. Not at the moment, obviously, but in the future, possibly could rise by more than 100%. So you need to take into account the situation you're dealing with, use a bit of common sense. Okay. So, that's basic percentages. Now, percentages we can use in equivalence questions. 24%, we know percentages are out of 100, so that's 24 out of 100. Now, we could cancel that fraction down to be 12 out of 50, or 6 out of 25. We could also write that as a decimal. 24 out of 100 is the same as 0.24. So, you'll also encounter questions to do with the equivalence of percentages, in this case 24%, fractions, 24 out of 100, and decimals, 0.24. Next level you'll encounter will be increasing and decreasing something by a percentage. Now this really is split between two papers, whether you're on the non-calculator or the calculator. Let's go through the non-calculator first. 10% is 10 out of 100, which is the same as 1 out of 10. Now, 1 out of 10 is a tenth, or you divide something and say divide something by 10, okay? So, to find 10%, we divide something by 10. So, in this case, if we want to increase 40p by 30%, non-calculator, find 10% of 40, which is 4, because 40 divided by 10 is 4. Now, if we know 10% is 4, we know 30% is three times as many. Three fours are 12. So then we were increasing 40p by 30%, so we just add the 12p onto the 40p and get 52. Now, same question, but using the calculator. Much simpler. Best method here, write your percentage as a decimal. We saw above that percentages are out of 100, so 30% as a decimal, or as a fraction is 30 out of 100, which as a decimal is 0.3. So I'm finding 0.3 of 40p. 0.3 times 40p is 12p, and again, I just add it on to get my increased amount. So, non-calculator, find 10% by dividing by 10 and then adjust. If you want 5%, half it, 20%, double it. Calculator, change your percentage to a decimal and multiply it by the amount. Right, let's look at some more questions. If you want one item, one thing as a percentage of another, say 20 as a percentage of 80. Say you've got 20 out of 80 in a test. 20 divided by 80, so you get the first thing divided by the second, and then merely times by 100. So 20 as a percentage of 80, 20 divided by 80, then times by 100, giving you 25%. If I want 5 as a percentage of 40, I do 5 divided by 40, and then just times by 100. And that will give me 12.5%. So one thing is a percentage of a number, just divide the second one into the first one, and times the answer by 12.5%.